and welcome back to another video. I forgot to put my headphones on. But today we'll be taking a look at the update to the more awesome tools add-on. So this update was released uh, last night for me. Uh, and I messed around with it a bit on the, the uh, Discord member realm, which it dis that my Discord is free to join. Uh, go down in the description below, you'll find it, and then you'll find like a little area where you can uh, check out... Uh, with like the whole rules and everything, and uh, yeah, uh, if you want to join, uh, but yeah, I mainly, mainly just like play on there because uh, I wanted um, somewhere for me to like mess around with add ons I review after I do a review of them beca uh, because you know, I might find something that I missed in the review, and then I can just like pin a comment like in the uh. Draws add on, I uh, while messing around with it, I accidentally applied multiple upgrades to one draw, which I did not know you could do. Um, before that, before I accidentally did that, so uh, yeah, uh, I put up in comments there, but yeah, uh, I was messing around with this uh, up in the update on the, the realm, and it's a bit of a mixed bag to be honest, like it does some, it adds some really good. Hello, Lily. It had, had some really good stuff, but it also has a bit of a had makes some things a bit of a headache as well, and I'll, we'll get into that in a minute. Yes, hello. Yeah. What you doing? Oh, you giving daddy little kisses? Yeah. Mwah. You lovely girl. Right, so, uh, this is the showcase block, nothing's been updated with this really. The, so far I can remember this is pretty much the same. You just got all the ores, you got the different levels of pickaxes, the ores, the deep plate variants, the nether variants, and the mining levels. Uh, hammers, uh, Melt ores, make hammer. Why is this melting ice? I guess this emits a light level. That's annoying. Uh, blocks. Uh, hold on. Uh, that's the armor. Effect, armor effects. Yeah, you can see that, all merchant, and tells you about the sticks, apocalypse difficulty, uh, of ultimate challenge with apocalypse mode, Lily, stop, please, uh, apocalypse mode, whether you are a casual player or a seasoned veteran, we've got uh, a level of chaos uh, just for you uh, from extra loot to heart pounding danger it's survival the uh, fittest ready to face the end of the world uh, by uh, block by block but buckle up and uh, may the uh, creepers uh, may the creepers seven that doesn't really work here with that with creepers but yeah it still doesn't really explain that much yeah so I'm gonna break that before he melts everything so I'm gonna go over what's new in this and uh, uh, what's been changed and my thoughts and opinions on it so all merchants no longer spawn randomly they will only spawn when you use a lead carrot uh, lead. so yeah lead carrot is just like a carrot surrounded by lead Get lead nuggets, you craft in one of the new blocks, but we'll talk about that later. You right click to use it. And after a minute, there we go. All merchants. And you can trade with him. So, yeah, I, that is kind of nice because, like, before you'd like a. You'd be constantly like, getting notifications in the top left. Like, oh, all merchants spawn. Oh, all merchants are spawned. And all merchants are spawned. Um, 
So yeah, making it so that they only spawn when, uh, you know, when you use the ca uh, lead carrot is nice. Um, so they've added a bunch of new. Uh, so yeah, they've added a bunch of new like uh, crafting blocks. Here we go, crafting tables. So there's the armory table, the building table, builder table, the crafting table, the forging table, and the magic table. Firstly, don't like that it's called the crafting table. Like it's all like there's already a crafting table. We don't need why not just call it like so it's for like general you know, general crafting, so just like make it the like I don't know, the uh the uh what you call it the um uh oh wait i don't know this it's probably better like like the uh the work table you could have called it the work table or something i don't know i just don't like it being called the same thing as a crafting table but yeah uh so what this does not tell you is that you can only craft one of these in a crafting table and you need uh, the the only one you can craft in here craft in the crafting table to craft the others which is annoying so yeah you can only craft the crafting table in the crafting table you can't craft the other tables in the crafting table oh yeah oh wait it does say there so I just must have missed that last night probably because I was tired so yeah, um, so yeah, you may initially think they can make it, any, but now you need to make the crafting table, and it's six planks and three cobblestone to make the uh, crafting table. So let me just show this on game mode zero. So to make the craft, the crafting table, yeah, there you go, six planks, three cobblestone. And you use that to make that. And why do all of these just emit light? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, then in the crafting table, you can make the others. So, here yeah, you can make. The training mannequin, the magic table, forging table, armory table, another crafting table, builder table. You can make a showcase block with a aluminum and the tutorial book. And you can make the merchant jewels. Well, I'm confusing the previous ones and defuse. You can defuse them. Yeah. Now you've got the settings tool and the table pen. You got in here you can make hammers with the basic hammers with a, with sticks and cobblestone and iron and diamonds and never I think it's family. Uh with this one I would just made it the diamond hammer plus a never I think it. Or something like that. Can we make the tutorial book? You got the handheld lantern. Rope. Uh lead cow that I showed off earlier. Here you can make the codex and the magnifying glass. Two of the best uh, additions to this. So codex and the mag ne magnifying glass. So uh, with this, so you take the magnifying glass uh, and you'd find any more ores or like uh, uh, this one here, nickel, loot, raw nickel, fortunable, no, all category one and op optimal mining layers at 52. So uh, what this tells you is that you can fortunately so you only get the, uh, so you just get the ore block. Uh, you don't get like more ore or anything. And it tells you that it is, but you you'd be like, oh, but 
this means you need at least one of the ores at all time just to just to look up. But no, nope, if you have the codex and you scan an ore, uh, that ore will appear in your codex and you can look up everything about it. Its name, its description, ore category, dimensions that can be found in, the rarity, the minimum and maximum Y levels, the optimum levels, uh, for if, it, if you can use fortune on it, it uh, in-game utility, so that's used for creating alloys, you, alloy metals like stainless steel. The, that uh, simul, it stimulates a metal strength and it promotes resilience. And then you got MOHS 4-HV638, which I'm not really sure. So you can find it in regular and deep slate. And then if you just pick one of them, it just closes it. So yeah, this is the, uh, these two are the best items that, the best things that have been added in this update because I remember in the original review, I just got like comment after comment after comment. Oh, where do I find this all? Where do I find this all? And it's like, how am I supposed to know? I have all the same information as you guys. I'm not the add-on creator. I just don't buy the add-on, do a, do a review and give you my uh, honest opinions. How am I supposed to know where you find all yours? But yeah, uh, at the end of the video, what I will be doing is I will be scanning each ore and showing you, uh, you know, what the best level to find each ore is. Uh, what else is this in here that I, can, that I should show off? Uh, let's have a look at that. I've actually not checked out the rope. Rope. I don't know what this does. If I some pig. No, you can't. What is rope used for? And of course, uh, oh, and the settings have been changed with, to utilize something I've not seen before. So you need to give uh, somebody the tag uh, to be a admin. So you do forward slash tag at s, so tag at s, uh, add NPS, add NPS, underscore MOT, underscore MOT, Uh, I think that's a colon? No. Uh, the two little dots are above each other. I can't remember what they're called. And then admin. Uh, admin. So that should have given me the tag. Yeah, there we go. And then you can change everything. So you can change your generation, ammo effects, jewel drops, monster drops, repair kit drops, damage indicators, or merchants in the vocation and the de apocalypse difficulty. By default, the, uh, uh, everything except for, for apocalypse is turned on and the apocalypse, apocalypse difficulty is set to zero and you can change that from zero to impossible veteran demental ultimate apocalypse. Now, I don't know what these Apocalypse modes do exactly. I might do a live stream uh, where I just have this added on and the, uh, we play with, a, with Apocalypse mode on and see what it does. Uh, but yeah, I still don't know what ropes, rope does do. What, uh, tutorial book, presentation, patch notes. Yeah, it doesn't tell the, and the tutorial, the tutorial book needs much help. Therefore, the fact that it tells you to craft the crafter first, which I didn't. Zero. So then you have the handheld lantern, which is four glass panes, four bronze ingots, and a sulfur. Uh, handheld lantern, handheld lantern. Just bring the lantern.
There you go, handheld lantern. So I'm guessing this is just a dynamic light. Uh, would help if I didn't have night vision. I say, yeah, you can see where I go, the lantern lights up. Can you put in your, you can put it in your off hand and it does work. So if I, basically how they do this is I give that P a light, light block. Yeah, it just makes a big circle of light around you, I guess. All right, no, that's probably just like from a previous thing. I wonder what did that. That's not good. Yeah, if I go into F5. Huh. It doesn't use a light block. I wonder how they achieved this thing, because everything, uh, everything I uh, seen before that does something similar to this uses light blocks to create the light. So I wonder how they've done this without light blocks. That's really interesting. Yeah, but yeah, that's uh, cool. Yeah, that's a cool... Um, Item if you want dynamic lighting. Well, only for one item, I guess. Yeah, right, so what's up? Uh, what else is in here? And hammers, uh, if you didn't know, they just dig a big three by three area. There's no real point in showing them off. You just trade the uh, mission jewel. We have the merchant for better stuff, so yeah, just I'll just I'll show off the training mannequin because I have not seen the training mannequin. A mode one train. You put it down. It's kind of boring looking. I've seen better. It just tells you how much damage you're doing. And you shift punch to get rid of it. Or uh, crouch punch or whatever you want to call it. So, that's I'm thinking here. Let's get on to the other ones. So let's get the builder, armory, forging and magic table. Game mode one. Purple. Would help if I exited my inventory if I tried what move. Alright, so there's so also I wanna grab the book because I wanna quickly compare I wanna also compare like the what what these craft to what they say. So this is the armory table. So if we go into here, crafting tables, armory table for crafting armor. But it does way more than craft armor, it crafts crafts armor, swords and tools. So it doesn't just craft armor, it crafts sword and hammers. So it, craft, it crafts, you know, everything that's, uh, you know, that you mine them. Um, so it's just like, why does it only say in here that it, totally, that it only crafts armor? That should be a year change to, for crafting armor, weapons and tools. This is the builder table. You craft blocks with it and uncraft blocks. That's it. Uh, with the uh, builder table for building materials, which 
No, you're not building materials, you're building, you're crafting blocks. And yeah, yeah, you got the wall, like all blocks, you got the uh, ink, and you got like ingot blocks and gem blocks. And you can, un and like I said, you can uncraft them, but it's just like, you're not crafting materials, you're crafting blocks. And uh, next up is the forging table. Uh, forging table for forging tools. You don't forge any tools in here. All you do is to make st uh, sticks and uh, sometimes ingots. So, yeah, so this is absolutely no help because it does not tell you what you actually need. Because if you, if you wanted to make a pickaxe, like, I, so I wanted to just make a pickaxe last night. I was like, oh, uh, I'll build the, I'll make the crafting table. And then I'll build it. So I figured out that you need to craft the crafting table. Because uh, I just missed this bit of text here. Uh, and then I was like, oh. Uh, I'll make the forging table. Because oh, it's for forging tools. But no. There's no pickaxes in here. I was like, uh, what? Okay, what about um the builder table? Build a table. Nope. So you, I basically just had to guess which table I actually needed to use, and I and I went around to the and then I got to the army table. And I was like, oh yeah, here we go. This is how I make pickaxe pickaxes. And it's like, why? Why couldn't they just? Why couldn't they just give an accurate description of what their blocks actually do? And then magic table for making magical items. I've not actually looked into this one yet. So, Enchanted Bismuth, so you surrounded with all, so yeah, this is, uh, you get the Enchanted stuff. Alright, so, what I would do with this is, obviously like, oh, and apparently use Road for all uh, I would get, just get rid of the Builder table. Like, there's no reason that so you need to craft an entirely separate table just to make Ingus and all, and War all into blocks. So just get rid of that, either... Get rid of that entirely. Either put that into the crafting table or the crafting table. And again, rename the crafting your crafting table to like the workstation or something. Now there's there's no need that you should not need to craft an entirely new block just to make uh, the ore blocks. Um, and then once you've got rid of that. Make these descriptions accurate. My like, jeez. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to say this, but your, the descriptions of your items in your tutorial book should be accurate to what they actually do. Oh yeah, you use the rope for the amulets. That's what you use rope for. Okay. I thought, I thought it was like a, just a stronger, um, a stronger lead. Anyway, uh, and you can probably just, you could also put the rope in here as well, just because you don't really need it when you've only got this, when you, you only really need it when you've got this and you can craft all this. But yeah, uh, let's check out these magical items, why don't we? I don't think you could get them in the last update. So, um, you let. So let's take a look at the Benotine amulet. Uh, let me take off my armor because it's probably going to give me a, a potion effect or something. So I right click it. It gives me night vision for. Oh wow, that's a that's a quite a long time. 33 minutes of night vision. Oh, and if I get game mode zero. Okay, so yeah, it does have durability. Well, that's pretty good. 33 minutes of night vision. Uh, can you enchant these with like mending and unbreaking? If you could, that would be helpful. 
Oh yeah, I'm breaking free mending, so yeah, you can enchant these. That's cool. So next up is the uh, Bismuthinite uh, Amulet. Which gives you absorption 2 for 33 minutes. Which gives you 4 extra hearts. That's not bad. Oh, and you can put... Ooh, can you use it in your... You can't use it in your hand. Uh, I don't know if it can change this, but you should definitely be able to use them if, in your offhand if you can put them in your offhand. And I guess it's nice if you can like put them in your offhand to like repair them when you get XP if you have mending on them. Uh, the Fire Ropal Amulet gives you Fire Resistance for 33 minutes. The Garnet Amulet gives you B2 for 33 minutes, which is nice. Oh. The Lazurite amulet gives you regen 2. Oh, that's really good. But I would hi highly recommend making it the Lazurite amulet uh, because, like I said, regeneration is really good. Especially in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, where regen regenerating your health is really slow. So yeah, that's probably the best one so far. Peridot Amulet. What did Peridot... Oh, give me head. Haste. Haste 2 for... for yeah, that's really good. I would also highly recommend crafting that if you're doing some mining. And then the, sp the uh, Spinel Amulet. Gives you strength too. Nice. Yeah, so. Yeah, those uh, last three were, are really good. So. The Spinel, Peridot, and Lazurite are really good. They give you re regeneration, haste, and strength. So. What? Uh, so we did the amulets. There's en Enchanted, so there's the Enchanted set. So let's take a look at the Enchanted. Enchanted. So, here we go. This up we have Benotite. ben i to toite ben i to uh, let's clear my effects, because it's getting a bit hard to tell what I'm getting. Huh. Hold on. And I... This may have been a turn. Ah, yeah, so the enchanted... Uh, so, yeah. The enchanted at ones don't do anything. They're just uh, crafting materials for the actual amulets themselves. So yeah. And I think that's pretty much everything that was added. Uh, patch notes, latest version. Oh yeah, they added trims to armor. Uh, don't really need to show that off, but yeah, now you can add your trims to your armor. Which is cool, like that, you know, I did a new layout custom, uh, customizability, which is nice. Codex, magnifying glass, different crafting tables, lead carrot, performance improvements, general performance, general improvements, all generation has been greatly improved, more ores now have an optimal generation layer, making it easier for all miners to check the codex and the optimal layers. Ah, so this, that does mean that in old chunks, like the, Unless you like start generating the ores again after the update, which might be a thing. Uh, you might not, in like all the chunks, you might not uh, work with the optimal layers, but I think they will just generate more of them on the optimal layers anyway, even if chunks have already been loaded. Uh, Adamantite ore is now immune to explosions from TNT, beds, etc. That's cool. Uh, that means you can do explosion mining for it in the nether. 
Uh, custom tools now work correctly. Breaking blocks at the appropriate speed. All smiling with a hammer are now affected by fortune and such. That's really nice. Custom pickaxes and hammers now break vanilla ores and 1.21 blocks at normal speed. Hammers can no longer break indestructible blocks. That's that, that was uh, that's an interesting glitch that used to happen. Amulets are now more durable with the mending and unbreaking enchantments. Uh, increased mining time for ores to three. 3 seconds and the 45 seconds for deep slate variants. Uh, blocks and loot adjustments. Miscellaneous improvements. So yeah. Pretty good update. Just has some minor flaws that just makes it frustrating. And a bit confusing. Like, but like I said, it could all just be... Uh, sorted out with a few... With just like remove... With like, all they really need to do is like remove uh, the like block crafting table and just like compact that into like either the normal vanilla crafting table or the crafting table, which I think should be weaned into crafting station or something. Uh, just so it doesn't get confusing when you're talking about the crafting table from the add on and the vanilla crafting table. Um, and uh, yeah, the book. The descriptions of the how of like how the uh, of how the uh, what you might call it of how the uh, tables what the tables do craft their new tables do they need to be that need to be reworked to make it more accurate but yeah overall not a bad update uh, so let me get paint 3D here uh, so. I've I've already like put in the new thumbnail or from the update. Now it's a uh, uh, in my ranking video I put it in the highly recommended uh, ranking. Does this update change this ranking? And I'm gonna say I don't really think it does because even though it is really cool and it and it does. I you know a bunch of new ores and stuff. I think it's still a it like it you know because of like the you need you need to craft an entirely new table just to make the ore blocks and stuff, and the fact that you need to um and the fact that the guidebook just doesn't explain what to the tables do very well. And the fact that it just doesn't like to explain, that it just generally doesn't like to explain stuff properly. I think it's still going to remain in there highly recommended if it, if they just like updated it, explaining things a bit better. Like, um, I just like having an entire section in the guidebook for like what, you know, what happens in the apocalypse mode and like all, you know, and like how each different level of apocalypse mode changes the game. And just like I said, uh, we worked the descriptions of the crafting tables they had, uh, the craft the tables they added. Then it uh, would be uh, it would probably be in a in must have. But with this, it's a bit difficult to really. It's a bit. It's just a bit obtuse sometimes with its mechanics. So yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this. Oh wait, uh, before I forget. Uh, let's go back to Minecraft, and let's check out all of the uh, ores and what the optimal levels to find them on is before I end the video. So, magnifying glass, so, ore, so that's the vanilla ores, you got the heavy core. So, spinel ore. Uh, yep, and let's switch those two around real quick. So, spinel ore. Ah, there it is. Spinel optimal le levels at, at Y19 in the Never. Uh, and in case you missed it earlier, uh, Nickel, 
Optimal mining levels is 52. In the overworld. Yeah, excuse me. Uh, sapphire War. Nope, would help if I placed it down. Sapphire. Here we go, Sapphire War. Uh, optimal mine levels, Y negative 20 in the overworld. Rudinium. Alright, yes, that's it. Optimal mining levels, Y12. I don't really need the book, that book's just right there. Uh, Peridot. Para uh, in the Nether, one, Y107. Never Orchalacor. Uh, no optimal mining levels. Really? So it just spawns evenly on each of the different levels. Mm, yeah. Because it just spawns evenly on all the. Uh, uh, different layers. Uh, Lazurite or optimal mining layer is 12 in the nether. Purple diamond ore. Optimal mining layer is tw negative 24 in the overworld. Fire opal. Optimal mine levels is 63 in the uh, in the nether. Roof, roofy, roof enium or roof enium or uh, n no optimal mining layers. So I guess you just go to any layer and hope you get it. Get lucky, bismuth or. Uh, optimal mining level levels one hundred and fourteen in the Nether. Ben Benite Ben Iterite or uh, optimal mining levels ninety two in the Nether. Adamantite or uh, sixteen or one hundred and twelve in the Nether. Yellow diamond. Uh, negative 40 in the overworld. Two pairs. Uh, level 30 in the overworld. Tungsten. Neg ne negative 24 in the overworld. Ruby. Negative 20 in the overworld. Titanium. Negative 16 in the overworld. Well, obviously it's in the overworld because... You can't get a negative 16 in the nether. Uh, no optimal mining levels for sulfur ore. Red diamond ore. Negative 32. Platinum ore. Uh, Y20. Pink diamond. Y negative 16. Palladium ore. Y28. Osmium ore. Y negative 32. Orchlak ore. And no optimum mining levels in the overall for Orchlak ore. Oh, wait. oh, it could just be right. Yeah, Y0. Yeah, ah. 
Yeah, no, sorry, if it says right zero, then it, so, yeah. I made a bit of a mistake there. If it says Y0, then it means, it, yeah, Y0, I just feel like Y0 would be... Uh, my brain still, brain sometimes just makes mistakes and I'm still thinking, oh, Y0 is in bedrock. Anyway, Deep State Opal or 26. Y26 is the best layer for Opal or Orange Diamond is negative 8. Opal or is Y twenty six or he did nickel, pretty sure. Yeah, nickel lead. As a optimal minor level of 60. Iridium ore has a minor level of 28. Green diamond has an optimal mining level of 0. Garnet ore. This is in the nether. Uh, optimal mine levels are 34. Deep slate yellow diamond. Oh, I think we've already done yellow diamond. Negative 40 for yellow diamond. Deep slate. Yeah, so now it's just all like the deep slate variants. I'm not going to do deep slate. There's cobalt ore, but I'm pretty sure that's from Tinkers. Oh yeah, no, Cobalt or Y32. Certine or Y36. Cassite or Y48. Blue Garnet or Y36. Let's see Tinker's Construct. Yeah, uh, Cobalt. Amber Ore. Y40. Aluminium. Or is Y48. And Ardite is from... Tinkers, have I met six? I've missed a couple. What's that one? Uh, would be no. What that would be nice to know which one the names of the ones I missed at least. So hold on, I'll be a diamond. So hold on. So if I go diamond or. So I've done yellow, red, purple, pink, orange and green. Yellow, red, purple, pink, orange and green. Purple, yellow, red, pink, orange, green. Yellow, red, purple, pink, orange, green. Ah, black diamond. I must have missed black diamond. There we go. Uh, mine level eight. So what are these last two that I missed? A, B, C. D, E, F, T. And now they're not, they're not even in alphabetical order. I can't even figure it out. Uh, yeah, they're not even in 
Now that's April. Hmm. Hmm. Is there any I've missed? Yellow diamond, tungsten. Fifty-seven. No, do miss tungsten. Topaz, titanium, sapphire. Did I miss with with vinium? No, but it's optimal mining level is zero. Platinum pink diamond. Alien purple diamond, red diamond, chrome. Did I miss chrome? Yeah, I missed chrome. So that's 56 optimal mining level. Yeah, grass like chrome. So I just need to figure out what this one is. Tungsten or so is it? Sapphire ruby. Hmm. A B C D E F D H I D K L M N O P Q R S T U. Let's try searching new. Yeah, that's probably not my best idea because there's a ton of stuff of there you in it. But have a look. Ah, oh, die block doesn't have a U in Oh, because it's in Tinker's Construct. So I think in Tinker's Construct is being listed because there's a thing on the Hmm. Hmm. What if I find the what was it? Oh wait, no, we did amber, amber. So it's not that. Which one am I missing? It's not ruby, is it? No, I saw ruby just a sec. Yeah, ruby there. Oh, wait, M? No. It's not emerald. That's the vanilla one. Blue garnet. They get blue garnet. But yeah, blue garnet right there. Yeah, it's really tough to figure out which one you're missing. I'm in creative mode and I'm just flicking through like each one. 
Just like trying to figure out. Um, pretty sure, yeah, pretty sure I did go on it. Topaz. Did I do Topaz? Yeah, Topaz right there. What am I missing? Oh, did I do black opal? Yeah, there we go. It was black opal I missed. And uh, optimal mining level is negative 20. And that is all of them. So now if you uh, want to know where to find this specific ore, you, you now know where to find them. Uh, if you want to... If you want to leave a comment in the comment section below of like all the ores and the optimal mining levels for them, uh, then I'll pin your comment uh, comment and uh, because I'm too late. I don't really want to do it myself, and yeah, so you guys can do it. If one of you wanted, wants to do that, I'll pin your comment and uh, give you a fan curious. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy the video. Hope to see you guys in the next video, and bye bye.